Today's lesson is on fractions and length. We can see here by the example that fractions are made up of parts. We have a whole, and a fraction is part of a whole. To review concepts that we've learned earlier before, when we consider how many parts a whole is broken into, we look at the denominator to see the number of parts. This fraction strip happens to be broken into three parts. The unit fraction is one of those parts. So this is one third as a unit. And for this example, we see that there are three one third parts. And that would be another name for a whole. Three thirds is the same thing as one whole. But for today's lesson, let's consider taking away part of a whole. So we can see now that the unit fraction is still one third, but what is the length of this part? We can see we have one third, two thirds. So the length of this strip compared to its whole is two thirds. Again, the unit fraction is one third. A unit fraction always has one as the numerator. The length of this strip would be two thirds. There are two units of three parts, two thirds. Continuing with this same idea, we'll now use an example with fifths. And you can see again the unit fraction is one fifth. The numerator is one, the denominator is five. So this strip is divided into five parts to make a whole. Five fifths is another name for one whole. For this example, though, again, let's take away some of the fifths. A fraction is typically less than one whole. So we'll remove a few parts from this strip. So once again, our unit fraction has one as a numerator, and the number of parts determined the denominator. There were five parts. So now we look at the parts that are left for this strip. We have one fifth, two fifth, three fifths. So this fraction strip is three fifths. In length, compared to the whole, this strip is three fifths of the whole. For our final example today, let's use sixths. And again, you will see the unit fraction. The numerator is one, the denominator is six. This fraction strip is broken into six parts. Six sixths is another name for one whole. And in this example, let's take away three of the parts. So again, one sixth equals each of the parts of this fraction strip. So as we can see, there's one, two, three sixths. So this strip compared to the whole is three sixths of the whole. The unit fraction is one sixth. The total length is three sixths. A quick and final review. A unit fraction will have one in the numerator position. How many parts a whole is broken into determines the denominator. When calculating the length 
of a fractional strip. It's the number of parts that will determine the fraction. And that concludes today's lesson.